Right. Uh, I did film this, um, but I kind of wandered between a couple of points a bit too much, and I waffled, and like I thought, hang on, mate, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so um, I'm going to have another stab. But, yeah, um, I I wrote one of my New Year's resolutions this morning of, um, what was it, accept loneliness. Because it's kind of like it, it's it been eating me up for the last, at least a year, I think. Getting on for a year. Maybe not. But, yeah, a very real sense of fucking loneliness. But um, it's fucking hell. <laughs> I've been fucking hated. <laughs> Literally, where I lived at the flat, I was fucking hated. He made it stark, staringly fucking obvious almost every time he saw me, which was quite a lot. I moved finally away from there. <laughs> then I ended up at the campsite. I couldn't live in a fucking field without being hated. She fucking moaned at me about every fucking thing. Um, And... So she fucking detested me. I moved into the fucking shop. She fucking detested me. And there was that kind of pattern of like getting celebrated for a, a week or two. And everything that I do and say is fucking funny and interesting and oh my God and quirky and la 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 la. And then it very quickly turns to uh, da, 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 uh, ba, ba, ba. and then for fuck's sake. And then like coming around and knocking the door and moaning and shouting and being fucking horrible, and then, like, displaying that fucking horribleness in and around my fucking home. Like, whenever she fucking could. <laughs> like, I, I, was, I couldn't live in my fucking camper <laughs> in a field without being fucking hated. Um, and, you know, it's like, it, it, in one way where, where I've got really thin skin, and one where I've got really thick skin. Because <laughs> I can massively, that's you know, that's why I've had to learn to not give a fuck so much. Because I get that so fucking much and you know we're all everyone's always accused of thinking they're the only one with problems aren't they but i just think i, I really don't see that many people with quite as many haters as i fucking get and just people who are visibly it's it's but it's because i don't like follow society's rules i'm sure because when you don't follow society's rules like um people are justified when they have a go at you or, or visibly show that you're being a twat or whatever um, and you've got to stand there and take it because you've broken society's rules. That's how it kind of seems. Um, but I, I just, I'm always on the receiving end of a lot of fucking confusion and dislike and visible kind of, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, you know, and like very often when people say, oh, I think no one likes me, it's like, I think no one likes me. That's how it sort of comes across. And like, no, people tell me that they don't. <laughs> people show me that they don't. And it's just very, very fucking constant. I know I'm fucking disliked in a lot of places. And I know I've met people who are very thick-skinned and go, I don't care, and they get celebrated for that. And I think that's kind of expected of me in a way. And quite often I, I achieve it, <laughs> basically. I, I can be very good. But, um, yeah, it's like, we're, like I said, when you've walked away from what I've had to walk away from, it's big um, and it shows. And it's that's going to be behind the loneliness because it's not just the fact that it's the, it's like it's the fact that you know it's there is what makes the difference, um, and knowing it definitely isn't there is makes the difference the opposite way, <laughs> basically, um, and yeah, that I moved to the shop. Then I moved to the shop. She fucking hated me. I used to be in that fucking place. And just want to get out. I used to think, right, I'll go to the gym and then I'll... Because I wanted to be out all day. From my home. I was hiding from my own fucking home. For fuck's sake. And then when she'd fucking close the shop, I'd be more happy to be there. But then I was always conscious about my music and the fucking telly. And it was like, for fuck's sake, I can't live. I can't live without feeling on fucking tenterhooks about everything I fucking do. Because I'd get it moaned about the next fucking day. And it was like... It, it was... Mate, I can't handle shit like that. Then it was always, like, just to do with me being fucking me. Um, and, you know, just told how I'm affecting other people and other people have complained about you. And I was like, fuck's sake. People make official complaints about me all the fucking time. 
all the fucking time. That coffee shop was an official complaint about me. It was like, effectively, I think I might have actually even been in the road. <laughs> so I was told that I wasn't allowed to stand in Charminster and bounce while I smoke. I've caused a huge fucking problem and cost a business fucking money. <laughs> that's the kind of shit I fucking talk about. And that's why I'm like so often f saying that I can't be me. Because like that was a place where I could be me. <laughs> um, but then I knew what would end up fucking happening. Um, and like that's, you know, that adds to the fucking loneliness. Not knowing where to go or what to do. Not being able to do a lot of the things that you're supposed to be able to fucking do. You're trying to do those fucking things. And getting it on you fucking mentally badly fucking wrong. You know, I'm a man with big hopes and dreams and a, still some opportunities left. I would have had many more. I would have had many more. I could have done so much better. But I fucked everything up that I've tried. All of my big ideas have fucked up royally. I've just got them all wrong. Badly. I've got totally fucking defeated again and again and again. <laughs> and I can't feel this. I'm not providing myself with much to feel happy about or confident about. And every time I've nearly got there, it's it's either smashed to fuck or I've smashed it to fuck. That's why I'm saying I'm fucking incapable. I'm, I'm at the stage where I can't keep my room tidy. I can't look after my fucking self properly, basically. That's how I get. And I'm just, I've, I've watched it all. I haven't watched it disappear, but I've just, it's all my fucking fault. And I've done terribly. And I've got to live with that shit. And so, you know, that's why I feel I've got nothing about me. That's That gives me a sense of not having anything about me. But, excuse me, um... And there's there's just a fucking hell of a lot of bleakness. And what I wanted to sort of say was, like, a big miscommunication is when, like, I don't, if I don't reach out and people want me to reach out. And, you know, so many times, there's, there's just so many trepidations with getting closer to people because I've got such a long history of that meaning they want to be further away from me. That's what makes people fucking lonely. I feel untouchable. I feel, yeah, no one's fucking touched me. That's how it feels. That would make you lonely. And you know, I haven't ha I haven't had that sort of atmosphere living here, but now I'm getting it from the fucking shop. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's I, I what I have had here is what I had the last few days. Of, like sitting here, feeling fucking just edgy and just can't do anything. Um, and you know, when, when I don't reach out, it's like, it's cause I know you're busy cause I know you're fucking busy cause you've got lives. But when I try and express that to people, what I say is what I, what I can't handle is reaching out and phoning or texting and they go, no, sorry, I can't. And it doesn't take many times, you know, you, 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 you go, well, of course people are busy. Try something else. Da, 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 da. You always feel like a needy prick. You always feel like a needy prick. Anyway, and then when they say no, because they're naturally going to be busy, because they weren't expecting you to call, because they're not making arrangements and plans with you, because you're not part of their life. That's just a stark reality. Like, and that's, like, my life has become, what is it, 160-something hours in a week. It's become, like, 152 of them being cold, bleak, weird and lonely. And then little windows to people work, people's world where people are telling me I'm killing it. It's confusing to me. It's just confusing to me. Um, but then I look like I'm rejecting people's help. And I'm not. I'm just fucking confused. Because I don't think I'm killing fucking anything, mate. I really can't interact with the world around me. Every time I've tried to work with people, I've been hated and sacked. And every time I've had interactions with a business, I've fallen out with them and had to have a complaint and a fucking near on court case. Shit like that is, is is fucking everywhere in my life. There's been, in the last three years, I think five things where I need to take people to court to fight my corner and I'm gone. how the fuck am I going to do that? On top of fucking everything else. It's just, you know, 
and they mounted up court cases. Like fucking hell, literally. <laughs> I can't recount them all, but like I don't even want to. Um, but that's why I don't feel like I'm killing it. That's why I don't feel confident. That's why I feel bleak and lonely because the door keeps shutting in my fucking face everywhere. Um, and then that looks like I'm being bitter and twisted, and it's not. It's just because I've got a full knowledge of everyone having a life. And they're living theirs. They can't live mine. They can't help. And I know they can't help. They can help for a little bit. But my problem is not that. I hope I'm making sense. Because I often get told by people. You know we care about you don't you? And I'm thinking. Yeah. Why am I being accused of that? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I think it's because. I try and explain why I do spend a lot of time alone and why I have a lot of trouble reaching out is because it's like you're you're gonna be doing something. You're you're doing what you do, your job and your life and your partner and your friends and whatever's going on for you. And like that's that, that's all of the shit I haven't fucking got. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not saying I don't have friends. And that you know I get misinterpreted then people think I'm saying I don't have friends and I know I've got friends. I know I'm thought a lot of by people. And like, that's not my problem. I don't, I don't, I'm not living my life thinking that I'm not thought a lot of. And I think people think if they fix that, I'll feel better about myself and more self-confident and I'll be more successful or something. But I always just think, but like, people who don't see me that often are telling me they love me. <laughs> but then the fucking world is telling me it hates me. And it's showing me it fucking hates me. And it's showing me that everything I do is fucking wrong. And then I'm failing at everything I try to fucking do. That's what I'm going through. I'm going through not being able to look after myself at a basic level. And shit like that. And it's hurtful and it's horrible. That's my problem. It's not because I think you don't love me. And I'm, you know, I, I need to kind of get that off my chest. Because it just seems to be something that the world always says back to me. That I'm accusing them of not loving me. And I'm not. I'm just ill. And I'm fucking suffering. And I'm not smashing anything, mate. I'm sorry, I'm not fucking smashing anything. <sighs> right, don't break down and wait, fucking weep. <sighs> Breathe. And out. Beyond the sigh. <sighs> that wasn't a long sigh. I'm smiling again. Um, but yeah, that's like... <sighs> That's an example of why I can't get close to people. I'd break down too fucking easy, mate. I'd break down too fucking easy. And then at this point, someone would come over and hug me. And then there's just that long silent hug and you think, yeah, they love me. But it's not, that's not fixing me. And now they don't know what to say and they feel awkward. Because <sighs> I'm a man and I cry. <sighs> right, hold it together. <laughs> Emotionally unstable personality disorder is what I have. And this is a sign of me being emotionally unstable. So in that sense, this, this is my debate about the crying on camera, actually, is um, in a way, it's like, it's, it's good to see that because I was just trying to talk. Um, but I don't want to do it histrionically because I know I can be fucking dramatic and histrionic as well. And anyway, it's long, so I'm going to shut up.